Mama, why are you working? You. Yes. Stand up. Why are you working, Mama? In the UK. What are you doing there? I'm a nurse. But I'm surprised that, you know, when I look at you, my body becomes very tired. And where's your husband? I don't have. Because I'm seeing you going, uh, it's like you're going home. When you read the, when you reach home, you, you feel very tired. I'm always tired. Huh? I'm always tired. We need to pray because there's a spirit. You came alone here? With my three children. We need to pray because where you're sleeping, it's like I'm seeing a spirit that is trying to press you down. Yeah. Huh? Yes, it's true. And this spirit one is pressing you down. Like, it's like this spirit is the one that is scattering everything in the house. Mm. Because even the money that you're getting, sometimes you don't know what you're doing with it. It's true. So I'm going to pray for you to break this. You were married. I never got married. Where, where is the father of those children? He lives in Swaziland. Huh? He lives in Swaziland. So you people, you never got married? No. Hey, you need to pray. This one's. This. Come. And you, we need to pray for your health. Huh? We also together. She's doing what? She's with us. We came with her. We need to pray for your health. Are you hearing me, Sesi? You know your health is not good. Yes. Huh? Yes. You know you're sick. Yes. Listen, when you came here, you didn't waste your money. Thank you. Because I believe this God of charities, he changes somebody's life. Thank you. In a way that when people, when people are far, when they see, see you, they'll be able to know that there's God in South Africa. Praise God. In a church called Charis. Amen. Because I'm seeing a spirit... This spirit, even the way you people... It, where, where is this man? In Swaziland? He's the father to, to my son. But it's like you people, you've got problems. We're not together anymore. Long, long, long time ago. Huh? We separated long time ago. He never tried to call you? No. Nope. Ah, it's like... Uh, Should I say it? Go ahead, sir. It's like if after we pray for you, it's like something is going to happen. We're going to pray for you, and if this thing it will happen this coming weeks. He's married now. Huh? He's married. I'm not talking about him. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about you finding the right person. Thank you, Jesus that will pray for you because your heart is very much discouraged. It's true. like you told yourself, I want to be alone. It's I'm true. fine with my children. Yes, it's huh? very true. It's very don't true. worry, don't worry about that. <laughs> you can't live alone. God is going to give you the person that will stand with you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. And this spirit that I'm seeing that is pressing you there in the bed there, uh, this spirit will go. Amen. Huh? Because Amen. it's making you tired, tired, mm. tired, tired. And it's like sometimes the spirit is trying to give you bad dreams. Oh, I have so many, huh? many bad dreams. Yes, I'm seeing the spirit giving you bad dreams, yes. bad dreams. Yes, huh? it's true. Listen, you are free from today. Amen. Praise are you hearing me? Amen. You are free. Amen. And you, Ceci, did you go to the doctor? Um, yes. Huh? Yes. You know you're sick. Yes, I know.
So I'll pray for all of you, and you'll go back to UK being free. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Bring him. You're free. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and introduce the people next to you. My name is Theodora Matiwane. I originally come from Swaziland, but I work and reside in the UK as a nurse. The one on my right is my younger son, Mlondi Lamene. This one on my left side is Donna. The one on the further left is my firstborn son, Zippo Lamini. Ma'am, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today? The prophecy I received today was 100% accurate. Yeah, everything the men of God say to me was true, and some of the, most of the things I knew already about them. Break it down to us on what he said and why you saying it's true. Okay, he talked about uh, my marriage, which uh, was true. I never got married. I only have three children with the same men. And the other thing he talked about, finances, that I work really hard. But I even, uh, after working, I don't even see the money. It's like it, it gets scattered, which is very true. I really, really work hard. I do. But when it comes to month and second day, third day after getting my pay, I have no money in my account. And I don't even know where the money went to. And another thing he, he talked about was bedrooms, which is 100% accurate. I really have bedrooms. Though most of my dreams, I don't remember them, but some, they came like it's broad daylight, and I remember everything in details about them. Ma'am, confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God. Um, the man of God told me that um, recently, recently I went to the doctor and yes, it was 100% true. I did go to the doctor and I am not feeling well. Yes. You also saw the man of God, Apostle JB. What did he say to you regarding the problem that made you to be here? Yes, you saw the man of God. Okay. Okay, the man of God, um, <laughs> he talked about... Uh, me getting married, yes, and he talked about um, me having issues in my relationship that we argue a lot and it was 100% correct, we do argue a lot. You received a prophecy today from a prophet of God, can you confirm it? Yes, I can confirm it 100%. Um, he talked about some issues I've been having and he was 100% accurate with what he said, yes. You saw Apostle JB on a one-on-one -on -one session. What did he say to you? He told me that with whatever that's going on in my life, it will be all right as long as I just pray and I should stop doing the things I'm doing because it's going to disturb me in the future. My brother, you received a prophecy today from a uh, prophet of God, and you also received a prophecy from Apostle J.B. Makanenza. Tell us on what all of them said and confirm it whether it's true or not. Yes, today I received a prophecy from the man of God. He told me about the stress 
related issues at work. He told me that um, a better job is coming and more finances. And he also told me that my relationship issues will come to an end. And he told me that in a few years time, if I decide to relocate, I'll be able to live my dreams. Ma'am, you also saw Apostle JB Magananesa. How was it? What did he say to you? Uh, Apostle JB Magananesa, mainly he talked about my children, what's, what's going on in their lives, that uh, my elder son has issues in his job, which was true, and I supported him because my son has told me before what is going on in his job. And he also told me about marriage, that um, I've been pushing it aside, putting my children first before my marriage. I, I, it's like I didn't want to get married. I always think about my children. So he advised me that it's high time I look after myself and I consider getting married because it will also help my children like to have someone like a father who will help them in their issues or in their upbringing in life. How are you feeling right now after seeing uh, the son of Apostle J.B. McCann's and also seeing Apostle on a one-on-one -on -one session? The way I'm happy. I've watched, uh, I've been watching uh, Charis, uh, the Apostle on YouTube for months. I've been wanting to come here, but financially it didn't work out. But this time I told myself that whatever I have, I'll just buy a ticket. What happens after that, I just do not care as long as I come to this place. So I, drove from, I came from the UK, I went to Swaziland to get my children because I couldn't leave them because I know their issues, I know what they are going through in life. I just could not leave them behind. So I got them, I came with them. I'm so happy, I'm so, so, so happy. What are the words of encouragement that you can give the viewers out there? As I know that you are also happy in Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes, I am happy indeed. You know, I'd advise people to actually come out and see the apostle for themselves and, you know, just get encouraged. Yes, thank you. What are the words of encouragement that you can give the viewers out there? And you also, my brother, what can you say to the viewers out there? I can say that uh, Jesus is there and he does work wonders. People should believe. All I can say is that um, people should come to Cherish and they should um, never be afraid to, who, to stop believing and stop praying. People should co come and witness what God has in store for them. And I'd like to thank God for everything that has happened today. And I'd like to um, send a message to everyone who's watching out there that um, nothing is impossible with God, everything is possible with God. Thank you.